Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. I am super excited to put out this video. I put this same video out every year, obviously saying different things. But if you can't tell from the title of this video, it is 22 things I've learned in 22 years, which in turn means it's my birthday. Literally, the day you're watching this is my birthday, which is super exciting. Um, so I'm 22, obviously, you get that from the title of this video. So when I make these videos, if you haven't seen it before, I think I've kind of changed the style. I do them a little bit every year, um, but I, I usually have this written in my journal. I kind of write it for my own records. <laughs> records, I don't even know what that means. Um, and then I usually end up just sharing them with you guys. So this year's I kind of have written in a sense of like advice to myself or advice I wish I could have given myself a little bit. So yeah. Okay, so first thing I've learned in 22 years of being alive is that politics play a big role in your life, whether you think they do or not. This was the first year I was able to vote in a presidential election. Last presidential election, I had missed it by a couple of days with the way my birthday fell. So this this year specifically, I my eyes were really open to the political world. I just never knew how much politics affected a day-to-day -day life. I was like, oh, there's a president, blah, blah, blah. It's not that easy. Politics definitely have a big role. And that being said, your political views really affect how your relationships are. I feel like it's definitely worse on election years, but if people don't have the same political opinion as you, nine times out of 10, they don't want to be your friend, which sucks because where's the respect? But yeah, politics play a big role. Okay, second thing is it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Uh, my life has just been a complete example of that, but it always does get better. It just gets rough before it gets better. There's always light at the end of the tunnel though. Hard work eventually pays off. Not always at the same time as those around you, but it always eventually pays off. And you, I just keep reminding myself, and it was it's important to remind myself, that I need to stop comparing my beginning to somebody else's middle or end. Embrace each season of life that you're going through. This season will never come again, and it will go so quickly. Spend less time worrying about the future and more time worrying about what's going on right now. Don't hold grudges. Surround yourself with people that support you and cut out those that don't, whether they're coworkers, family, friends, anybody that doesn't support you or have your best interest in mind doesn't need to be in your life. Nurse the relationships that do give you the love and support that you need because those are very far and few between in this world anymore. Don't hold grudges. Sorry, I'm yelling that to myself because I have a tendency to try to do so. They get me absolutely nowhere and they occupy such a large amount of my brain and just take up so much time that they don't deserve. So don't hold a grudge. Forgiveness is a sign of strength, not weakness. So let go of things that weigh down your heart and mind. Money is not the key to happiness. I learned that over COVID. I didn't learn that over COVID. It just became more apparent over COVID because that was those three months of Max and I both not working were so stressful, but so enjoyable at the same time. That also being said, life is too damn short to do something that you don't enjoy or work for somebody that you don't enjoy because money doesn't buy happiness. And in the end, if you are working 40 plus hours a week for somebody or doing something that you don't enjoy, don't do it because life is too short. Eat the damn pizza. Enjoy your metabolism now. I think I said this in my very first video is like, like, oh, you know, watch what you eat. But, but this is me saying a couple years later, eat the freaking pizza because your metabolism now is not the same as it was three years ago and it's not the same as it will be in three years. So eat the pizza, enjoy the moment, don't overthink everything. Don't, I mean, don't overindulge in things, but don't hold yourself to such a strict guideline that you aren't even enjoying your life anymore. And when you're eating that pizza, you enjoyed every single bite of it. And that is how you don't overindulge because you're enjoying what you're eating while you're eating it. And you know, the thing is, embrace your body. Embrace it when you're 15 pounds lighter. Embrace it after you've had kids. Embrace it, just embrace your body no matter what you're doing because your body's always changing just like your life is always changing. And a lot of times your body changes with whatever you're going through in life. So as your body changes, love it every single step of the way because you only get one. You only have one body in your in life, literally only one. So treat it, accordingly and and love it no matter what stage is going through you don't have to be blood to be family sometimes friends can be your lifeline sometimes family can be your best friends but just remember they don't have to be blood to be family stop spending so much money on junk that you don't need amazon forever 21 h&m things you just don't need stop wasting your money and and stop wasting your money on fast fashion specifically because 
thrifting and and what's the word I'm looking for? Hi. Mm. Just stop spending your money on on junk that you don't need because in the end those material things have absolutely no value. Instead, save and spend your money on on memories and meaningful things, on trips, on um it's just things that have more meaning than just tangible things that are temporary. Let go of the fear holding you back from taking chances and let go of the feeling of comfortability. Hi, sweet girl. Hi. Sorry about that. I had to have a little puppy pal wow. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, let go of of things that are holding you back from taking chances and just let go of the feeling of com comfortability. Sometimes when you take a chance, it's going to be... A flop it's not going to work out but that's okay and sometimes you're gonna take a chance and it's going to be the best thing you've ever done and that's also okay so take chances because some are gonna be good and some are gonna be bad don't sweat the small stuff because that's all it is is small stuff show up for the people in your life in a way that actually means something call them send them a text let them know that you're thinking about them send them a card it doesn't have to be an occasion. Do it actually when it's not an occasion. Not their birthday, not Mother's Day, not Father's Day, not Best Friend's Day. Just randomly, out of the blue. Let somebody know that you care about them and love them and you're thinking about them. Your family will always be there to support you. When the rest of the world seems chaotic as all get out, your family is who will be there for you. And that goes back to saying that family doesn't have to be blood because those people that aren't actually blood that are still family, they'll be there too. To heck with the life timeline that you thought you wanted for yourself. And whether that means you thought you'd be married with kids by now or you thought you'd just at least have kids by now, to heck with it. Because you know what? First off, it's God's plan. It's God's timing. And secondly, who cares what everybody else thinks you should be doing? If they think you're getting married too early, if they think you should be having kids yesterday, it, it doesn't matter. If they think you should have stayed with your high school sweetheart, it doesn't matter. To heck with the timeline that the world gives you because in the end, it's your timeline. You and God. That's it. Stand up for yourself, sis. Your voice deserves to be heard. You're put at that spot on that. You're you're put in the spot that you're in for a reason. So make it be known. Let it be heard. Stand up for yourself. Don't limit yourself to what you think you're supposed to be doing. You will quickly learn that life doesn't go according to plan. The road you're taking might not be traditional and it might not be the way Joe Schmo wants you to do it. Be okay with saying no and say it confidently. Your time is the most precious resource. It's the only thing you can never get back. You're burning a candle from both ends. It's okay to say no to things. Not gonna be the end of the world if you miss one dinner or one happy hour or one shopping trip. Things will go on, time will keep going and it will be okay. Say no if you need to prioritize other things. Go see the world, go do things, go travel, go get out, go enjoy the blessings that we have, whether it's traveling to a city or traveling to nature in the mountains or to a beach, it just travel, go see God's creations and go see the world because that is so, so much more important than buying a bunch of meaningless junk. Forgive yourself and give yourself grace. You have made a million mistakes and you will make a million more and that's okay. And be forgiving, be loving, be, be okay because we're all human, we all make mistakes and that's just part of life, that's part of growing up. I think I'm at 22. It's gonna be really embarrassing if I'm not. If you think you're with the person that you wanna marry, marry them. Relationships are not gonna be easy. Getting married is not going to make situations easier, but that's okay. And my last tip is to be thankful, to, is to make sure you're thankful for your little fur babies because they are one of a kind and they are little angels from God, I swear, because I don't know what life would be without them. Hmm. Is it mama's birthday? Is it mama's birthday? You don't even know what a birthday is. What? Okay guys, so on that note, I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all so much. And comment down below the biggest thing that you learned just this year. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed. And I'll see you soon.